The search is on tonight for a dangerous sexual assault suspect who attacked a college student. Philadelphia police released these photos of the man they're looking for. They say he's wanted for an assault early this morning in University City. Tuesday night in the big story on Action News is the urgent effort by Philadelphia police to get a dangerous suspect off the streets. Action News reporter Andy McCormick is live where the assault happened in the 3800 block of Chestnut Street with the details. Annie. Yeah, Rick, that's right. The assault happened just before two o'clock this morning here on this block by 38th and Chestnut. Well, tonight, police are releasing these images that they did retrieve from surveillance video in the area, hoping to get this man off the street. This assault occurred on May 2nd at approximately 1.50 a.m. Tonight, Philadelphia police are looking for this man wanted for an attack and sexual assault. on. He an old head because if he was young, he'd have on skinny jeans, man. He got on them old fucking 2000s jeans. 2001, 1990. And his shoes, too. His Elijah shoes. Bo. He got them Elijah Bo jeans on. Yeah, my man got on some, he got on some true religion jeans. <laughs> <laughs> he got on some Jabos. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. Yeah, man. That's an old head, man. Oh, yeah, man. He he walking down the street twisting up a J, too. Look at him With twisting the up. <laughs> yeah, man, you out twisting up. The yes. assault occurred on May 2nd at approximately 1.50 a.m. Tonight, Philadelphia police are looking for this man wanted for an attack and sexual assault on a young woman here in the 3800 block of Chestnut Street. Sources say the victim is a University of Pennsylvania student and was taking out trash overnight when the suspect, armed with a knife, assault. Listen. I don't care what you, what, I don't care. If you're a fucking woke fucking liberal, like this is not that last woman we talked about in Atlanta, the nurse. This is a white woman who goes to school in Philadelphia and lives in the inner city. You cannot take your trash out at night. You got to take your trash out in the evening. You can't, I don't give a fuck if you're like, oh shit, I forgot to take the trash out. Cause I don't want to miss trash day. Cause you know, if you miss trash day, you got to wait till the whole another week to take the trash out. Fuck that shit, man. You can't take your trash out no two o'clock in the fucking morning. If you're a fucking white girl. No bullshit. Not in Philadelphia, the Philadelphia you've created with your woke politics. You cannot just be like, Oh shit. I forgot to take out the trash. Let me gather it up and just, Take it out two o'clock in the morning. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, Philly. Shit. <laughs> you crazy? That that white girl should have known that this this her fault, man. She should she 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 this this like wearing a mini skirt, man. She should have. I blame the victim, man. <laughs> she should have known better, man. <laughs> she should have known better, man. Yeah, that's, that's my stick, Ark. Right? <laughs> yeah, man. She should have known better, man. Young woman here in the 3800 block of Chestnut Street. Sources say the victim is a University of Pennsylvania student and was taking out trash overnight when the suspect, armed with a knife, assaulted her. Police say the suspect, who is between 20 and 30 years old and about six feet tall, wore a hooded polo shirt and distinctive clothing, including peach sneakers and jeans. But the interesting about this uh, thing about the jeans is that it has a white inseam along the inner part of the jeans. Oh, wow. He really got some goddamn fucking 2000. Hey, them shoes was peach. Yeah, man. My man, shit. We always make sure that we're at least with someone else. I we always make sure that we're at least with somebody else. Yeah, um, listen, it wouldn't have mattered if you was out. Did y'all see that video I did a couple years ago where the sun man walked up on three glider women were walking down the street and beat the shit out of all of them in Philadelphia? That's rumble only, but yeah. No. Nah. Some man beat the shit out. It was three of them. Some man beat, knocked all three of yeah, them I seen out. It. I seen it. They were pleading and we shit. Sure. Yeah, yeah. They was pleading for him to stop. He knocked. He knocked all three of them unconscious. Yeah, I remember. We're at least with someone else. I think on a well-lit street too. Yeah. We never take any side streets. Students tonight tell us they are remaining vigilant and utilizing safety measures. Put Why in place. even go to that school though? Like, this is this is what I would tell my daughter. I would be if she my daughter came to me and said this. I'd be like. Why even go to, like, why even go Do to that people school? people still go to Tampa? Yeah, facts. 
but I would I still ask them the same question. Like, if it's if if it's this bad from your own mouth, not me, but from your mouth, pause. If it's this bad, why are you still going there? We always make sure that we're at least with someone else, I think. On a well-lit street, too. Yeah. We never take any side streets. Students tonight tell us they are remaining vigilant and utilizing safety measures put in place by the university. Beginning of the year, they told us to put like the pen emergency people in our number like under safe contact. So I think that is definitely a resource that we could use. Me and my roommates have like a deadbolt lock, um, and we put it in whoever's the last one to come in at night. We just put it in investigators with the special victims. That's a unit. fucking fire hazard, man. They got these kids in here. <laughs> That's a fire hazard. In the middle of the night, a fire starts. You can't get the fuck out. Fuck about it. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Jesus, the sun, man. Some people cause so many residual. Like, <laughs> so many extra rules hey. for bullshit that normal people would just shake their fucking head at. <laughs> hey, you should have seen in Walmart. They they were still in there so fucking much that they pretty much turned the shit to a mouse trap. It was like metal everywhere. Damn. Yeah. This is this is we we are we're a burden. We're 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 a burden on society, man. God damn. A blight. Like, yeah. It's just we cause and these people and these people. Um, you got your mic is hot. Um, conservative from the hood. This this. These problems that we cause, we give no fucks about and simultaneously do 90% of the bitching and moaning in the area where, where, where this is going on. Where this is going on, the main people complaining from the loudest, from the highest mountaintop about every fucking thing are the people that got these people talking like this. It's fucking maddening, man. What's going on, Wicked? Yo, yo, what up, Chief? What up, Ignatius? Ain't nothing. Gigi Ryder says, did I cover the assistant principal in Houston beat by ninth graders and taken to the hospital? She couldn't speak. She got released, but terrified. That's I'm going to have to look that up. You saw that? Yeah, that shit was crazy, man. It was two like girl. I think two girls are fighting, and the teachers trying to get um the, the assistant principal trying to get in the middle of it, and all the kids just start jumping her and shit. That shit is crazy. What kind of shit is that? All son, all sons. Let me let me get to I get to that in a little minute. Hold on. It's so much. It was a hell of a day of son is dead, man. I, it's so much to get to, man. It, it was a hell of a day, but yeah, these. I just. I just don't know why these gliders even fucking just go to school. It's plenty of schools on campuses in the country. Like in Pennsylvania, for instance, you got fucking Bucknell, Lehigh. You got Villanova. You don't have to go to school in downtown Philadelphia, man. We always make sure that we're at least with someone else, I think. On a well-lit street, too. Yeah. We never take any side streets. Students tonight tell us they are remaining vigilant and utilizing safety measures put in place by the university. Beginning well, as a grapist, I appreciate them telling you where they're going to be. And I remember, like, under safe contact. So I think that is And they have the good litter, too. Me and my roommates have, like, a deadbolt lock. Um, and we put it in whoever's the last one to come in at night. We just put it in. Investigators with the Special Victims Unit are urging anyone with information to call. Even if the public thinks that they saw something that maybe is not important, please, please let us know. Please call it in so we can investigate it. And University of Pennsylvania police have a cruiser and police officer parked on this block tonight. Additionally, University of Pennsylvania is urging their students to be aware and also to utilize their escort service. Neighboring Drexel University also alerting their students tonight. For now, reporting live in escort University service. City, Annie McCormick, Channel 6 